Duplicate values are something that can be a big problem in Excel, particularly if we want to analyze our data as part of the cleaning process, we want to make sure that we are removing duplicates from our data. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you three different methods that you can use to ensure that you don't have those pesky duplicates hanging around for too long. Now on the screen here, I have a small data set. I have some sales agents. I have the regions that they work in, and then I have the sales amount. Now notice something about this data because this is really important. You need to work out what you consider to be a duplicate value. Let me show you what I mean. If you take a look at the first row here, we have Corey Sparks and he works in the East region and he has sales figures of 41,000. Now, if I move further down the list, you can see I also have a Corey Sparks here for the East region, but the sales is different. So this time the sales value is 16,000 whereas here it's 41,000. If we move even further down the list towards the bottom, I have Corey Sparks again, the East region, 41,000. So this record here is an exact duplicate of the first record just here. The one in the middle isn't because the sales value is different. So the first thing you need to determine is what duplicates you want to remove. It might be that I only want to have a unique list of all of the sales agents. So I want to remove all the duplicates just from this first column. Or maybe, as in this case, I want to remove duplicates where every single column is the same. And the first method that we can use for this is to use Excel's duplicate remover tool. Now before we do that, I'm going to put this data into a table, control T. Yes, my table has headers. Let's give our table a quick name, sales by agent, and let's use our duplicate remover tool. Now I'm going to click somewhere in the data. Let's jump up to the data tab and then over in the data tools group, notice we have a remove duplicates button. So let's click it and see what we get. So you can see here, we get an opportunity to select the column where we want to remove the duplicates from. So if, for example, I only wanted to remove the duplicates from the first column, I could deselect region and sales. In this case, I want to remove exact duplicates where every single item in each of the columns is the same. So I'm going to select everything, mm -hmm. click on OK. It says it's found two duplicates. If I click on OK again, those duplicates are now removed. So notice that I have Corey here. I still have this one because it's not an exact duplicate, but Corey towards the bottom of this list has now been removed. So that's one method for removing duplicates. Now the disadvantage of this method is if I was to add another duplicate onto the bottom, so if I select Corey Sparks, let's control C and just paste him onto the bottom, it's not going to recognize that that new record is a duplicate and it's not going to remove it. And this is where our second method can be really useful because we can use the new unique function that's available in Microsoft 365 to remove duplicate records. And the best thing about the unique function and the advantage that it has over the duplicate remover tool is that it's completely dynamic. So if we add new records or other records or duplicates, it's going to automatically remove them. So let's just control Z to remove that record that we just pasted. And let's take a look at the unique function. Now for this one, I'm going to return all of the columns. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste these column headings over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say equals unique. The first argument here is the array. So I just need to select everything that I want to return. And because I've put this in a table, it's come up with the table name sales by agent close the bracket, hit enter, and it basically returns the same thing as the duplicate remove at all. It's only returning unique values. So once again, we have Corey Sparks at the top here. We still have Corey Sparks there because it's not an exact duplicate, but the Corey Sparks towards the bottom has also been removed. And as I said, the advantage of this method is if anything changes in the data source. So let's just grab this first record, control C, and paste it onto the bottom. Notice that because that is a duplicate, nothing changes in our unique formula. But if I was to change the sales value for Corey Sparks down here, so let's put it to 50,000, you see he now gets added onto the bottom of that list because it's no longer an exact duplicate. So the unique function is great because everything dynamically updates. 
So that's the second method you can use for removing duplicates. Remember, that's only available in Microsoft 365. And the final way that you can remove duplicates is the slightly more long-winded way, and that is using Power Query. So let's take a quick look at how that works. So I've reset my data set. Let's click back in the table. I'm going to jump up to the data tab and in the get and transform data group, I'm going to say get table from range. Now, because I'm clicked in that table, it's automatically going to import that table into Power Query. And from here, I can use Power Query's tools to remove duplicate rows. So if we go up to the home tab in the reduce rows group, we have a remove rows button and we can remove duplicates. And you can see there it refines that list down. And then all I need to do is just close and load this back into Excel. So let's click the close and load button, close and load. And it's going to import that data set back into Excel. And you can see it's created a new tab and we don't have any duplicate records. So those are three methods that you can use to clean up your data and remove those duplicates from your data set, which is going to make your analysis a lot more accurate. As always, if you like this video, smash that old like button, maybe give me a cheeky little follow, and I will see you in the next video.